I keep forgetting John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein. They need a, a gig, a solid gig. I kind of can't believe we didn't get a sequel to Game Night. That feels insane. I agree with you. Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is why I'm watching this show, your new favorite pop culture YouTube channel, where we talk about movies, TV, music, and more. And as always, this is a spoiler show, so you have been warned. If you would like to help us out, please like and subscribe or leave a comment, or you can head on over to our Patreon because YouTube has decided to act a fool with the monetization. And you can help us at our Patreon at patreon.com slash so I'm watching this show. We have multiple tiers where we do different things. Uh, but it seems like the most fun is the Watchers tier. It's a $3 Watchers tier where you can watch along with many of the shows we cover with us in unedited full-length reactions. Things like Riverdale and Drag Race and Wolfpack. Rachel and I watch Teen Wolf. So, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this is probably going to be more of a mini-sode. Just that one. This is probably going to be a little bit more of a mini-episode, but I just wanted to get my two cents, our two cents out there. We're going to talk a little bit about Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Okay. So this was a great movie. I really, really liked did it. Did you? I did. Yeah. I had a great time. You guys were like talking about like things that could have been better in the car. And I was like, I liked it. So I actually, okay. I actually think it's just okay. But there was so much about it that felt like the beginning of something. I agree with that. It it, it really, and I we, we talk about that a lot, but I mean it, if I ever meant it, I mean it now. I just want more. Yeah. It was some fantastic world building. It had a excellent sense of humor. The casting was very, very solid. Yeah. And I just was like, man, I could do this every two to three years. Mm -hmm. With these characters, different characters, combinations of them. Yeah. I am kind of, I was kind of astonished how good it looked. It looked great. Because it's, it's, it, the budget is $150 million, which is a lot of money. Yeah. However, these days, I mean, these things bloat. Yeah. And this one, I mean, this looked better than Marvel movies. Some of them. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> like, some of them. There were entire set pieces that I was like caught off guard by. Yeah. Like the whole underneath or whatever in. It's called the Underdark. The Underdark. On the like floating oh, yeah. islands, mm -hmm. it felt big. Yeah. It felt vast. Yeah. And we were even in kind of like, a, we were at, um, I want to say a janky theater. It's but like medium. We, we were in like a like an old, like an 80s, the type of movie you'd see, or theater you'd go yeah. see a movie out of the 80s. And there were moments where I was like, yeah. Like when they're swinging and that dragon, the big fat, big fat dragon. <laughs> What did it say his name was again? <laughs> Thembershoud. It just like, there were parts where I was like, oh, wow. Like, and it, it didn't feel like they were on sets or green screens the way I, that like. That's what like, I was going to say is there was a lot. I think there was enough that was physically built that made it feel real, like physically built or like they were actually outside somewhere. I just, I remember when we saw. Disney's Aladdin live action. And we were like, this movie is expensive yeah. and big, but it looks small and cheap. Yeah. Like, it, like I know that gauze, like gauzy fabric was on sale that day, but like that's not <laughs> all you need. Or even just like the, the stages, the rooms, the castle. Yeah. I don't know. I, I was really blown away by, by that part. And I just kind of, I just kind of want more. Yeah. Like, for my personal, I, I think I think everyone did a great job. I think that Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez mm -hmm. really held this thing up. They did. They really did. Um, and but I also like I don't really have there in like this you know 
top eight above the line actors, I like don't really have a complaint. Like, I think they all were like good. If anything, I just kind of wanted more. Like, well, sure. I wanted a little bit more from Sophia Lillis. And she's so fantastic. Yeah. She had a really spectacular sequence, too, she like did. an action sequence where because she's a shapeshifter and yeah. she's like fleeing, changing shape. Yeah. It's, it was very, that was very good. Also, Daisy Head was good. I am. I love her. <laughs> I love her. Um, I love her dad also, but I think she is really making a go of it in a way that's like fun. It it, it just sort of I was going to say that for my personal taste. Say it with me. I could have used a little bit more glamour factor somewhere. Yeah, but that's not really a Dungeons and Dragons. Sure it is. A princess. I mean, because well, even like, because Daisy had kind of had it. Like she had like the closest that we got with her like. Well, um, very Balenciaga. Sure, like, Kira was wearing like dresses, but they were very like. I wish they were. Pre- I literally dresses, said yeah. to Rachel, I was like, I wish it was just a little bit prettier. Like I wish there was something. Also, I have to. I'm obligated to say there is. There was a. Perfect opportunity for mermaids in this. Mm. Couldn't have been more perfect opportunity for mermaids in this. Where? When they're uh, getting out of the Underdark and they're underwater. Oh, sure. And yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Like a hundred percent could have been rescued or drowned by mermaids. <laughs> it, the tone, the potato joke with Michelle Rodriguez. Oh <laughs> I don't know why I am so, uh, I feel so connected to Jonathan. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just so we can like get it out there. Or the, Baroness Torbo. She yeah, was so good. She was great too. Uh Jonathan, the actor who did Jonathan, his name is Clayton Grover, and he actually is a stunt man. So like let's oh, just he's hot. get out he, and he's also hot. Let's just get <laughs> we that don't out see there. him in the movie. Yeah. He's There's, like a don't, 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 we'll save oh, it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. But no, I don't know. It was it was just very it it was very fun. It was very silly. It was very entertaining. It was not labored, Mm-mm. which so many of these things. And it was two hours and fourteen minutes, and I don't actually think it felt that long. Mm-mm. It was like it it was moving along at at a clip. So for me, it's more of like a give this movie your money. Like give it. Yeah. Let's maybe give it a fighting chance to get a sequel. Because I want this. I want more. Yeah. Like I I want for this to be a thing. Mm-hmm. And because there's other things that I would I, like, I would maybe compare it to the Power Rangers movies a few like years ago or like we kind of liked that King Arthur movie they did. But that was so leaden. It What's was so that? labored about labored. <laughs> and this is just so much lighter and at yeah. such a clip that it was just fun. There's an I mean, owl bear. Don't you want to see that? It's pretty tight. <laughs> and also it's like I think I think a big part of it is like. Something that comes across for me with Chris Pine's acting is that he really just is game for whatever. And it, he, like, just will give it his all in, like, whatever he's in. And he really didn't have to. But, like, playing this bard that he was... Uh, they were calling him a harper, and I didn't do my research about Dungeons & Dragons, but he was essentially I, yeah. a bard. Um I don't know. It just worked for me. And he just seemed like he was having fun. They all seemed like they were having fun. The movie does a bit where he's singing (laughs) at like. As a distraction. In act three. And it is worth the price of admission alone. alone. It's one of the funniest. weird. And again, like I said, the movie I think is is mostly just sort of like fine, like Mm -hmm. good. And I found it funny. It's not like a laugh riot. But that scene took me out. Yeah. So, Yeah. Um, I just also think, too, like, um, I would argue that the character who you would think is having the least fun would be Zank, which is Reggae Jean Page's character. But even that, I could feel it in his performance that he was, like, having a ball being this uptight, that, like, paladin-type character. This is the this is the second real thing I've seen him in, and so I was very curious. And we, You should watch The Gray Man. We think... We think he cut out of Bridgerton a little too early, so I was a little bit kind of like, let's see, let's see. And I was like, yeah, you got it. I don't know. I he just, got it. <laughs> I just don't think that showing up for one episode per season would have really cut into his time that much. But my point is, I'm like, it's still there. Like, it's yes. not, it wasn't oh, a Bridgerton no. fluke. Like, no, no, like no. he, and so I'm like, okay, no, we'll, he's we'll actually, see. He's, he's pretty good. So, yeah, this is just my sort of, <laughs> me telling you. Yeah. 
you to, to give this a shot and maybe also, together we can make this a thing. I do love Hugh Grant having the absolute time of his life while understanding absolutely 0% of what he's doing. Oh, he had <laughs> he had a whole leg out the, the door. It was like, Bye. He was half in. and But that suited the character? It did, really did. It really did. <laughs> really? Yeah. And his like Wizard of Oz balloon <laughs> when they were dumping all the gold out of his mouth. So funny. <laughs> like, it, I, like I said... I, as far as like good like fine movies go, this was a great fine movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, also yeah. Justice Smith is the cutest. Mm -hmm. He's adorable. So yeah, I I liked it a lot. I would also it's like the type of movie that you could just put on. Like mm -hmm. it's not taxing. Mm -hmm. You could just have it on, and it's super fun. It th for me in that way it tracks with like the Enola Holmes movies. Yeah, it yeah. just like, it's just fun to have on. So, yeah. okay, well, uh, as always, please like and subscribe and the, obviously the Patreon stuff and um, hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully we'll see you back and we do all of this again with something else. <laughs>